Some time ago, a challenge was issued to anarchists on YouTube. They were asked to detail how the free rider problem of national defense could be solved. Many of the proposals were constructive, however, none of them were more than partial solutions. And the problem when dealing with multiple partial solutions is that it's difficult to know whether or not some aggregation of all of the proposals would be sufficient to overcome the problem. Now, personally, I suspect that it would be sufficient, but just to be safe, I will add my own to this growing list. The first problem we must address is the huge risk associated with donating a lot of money to a firm and receiving almost no benefits for your contribution because you were the only one who contributed. The majority of my audience will probably be aware of the service known as Kickstarter. However, for those who are not, Kickstarter allows interested parties to pledge support to an entrepreneur on the condition that a specified level of funding is reached. In other words, I can pledge $100 towards the development of a video game that will cost $100,000 to build, and I will only be charged if at least $100,000 is pledged in total. My solution to the free rider problem of national defense, or at least to the majority of the problem, is similar to Kickstarter. I propose to create a contract where interested parties can pledge financial support on the condition that the number of other people who have also signed this pledge is sufficient to overcome the free rider problem. For example, the contract may stipulate that each person pledge to pay 5% of their income, but only on the condition that 95% of the population has also made this same pledge. Now, hopefully it is apparent how this eliminates the aforementioned problem. The next problem to address is the market failure resulting from the fact that the 5% could still mooch off of the 95%. This could be solved by stipulating in the contract that no contractee shall engage in commerce with non-contractees beginning the moment the payment conditions are met. Since the cost of being unable to engage in commerce with 95% of the population would greatly outweigh the benefits of free riding, we should expect this countermeasure to be more than sufficient. In order to minimize the transaction cost imposed by this measure, the firm could issue membership cards. Now, the last little bit of market failure we have to deal with results from the cost associated with reading, comprehending, and signing the contract. Fortunately, this cost is relatively insignificant and so would be relatively easy to solve. In the event that patriotism alone is not enough, there are several other mechanisms I can imagine for changing the incentive structure, and I'm sure several more that I can't imagine. The fees could be back-end loaded by incrementally increasing them with each additional pledge, generating a tragedy of the commons-esque mad rush, and the revenue generated by increasing latecomer fees could be used to provide rewards for recruiters. The names of those who signed the pledge could be posted in a database accessible to everyone so individuals could easily hold each other to account through the application of various forms of social pressure. My firm could issue early ID cards for pledgers, and local businesses could advertise the fact that they are patriotic by providing discounts to cardholders. Um, this list could basically be as long as you'd like to make it. <laughs> Overcoming such an insignificant cost is not really an issue when the benefit of overcoming the problem is so great. People have been known to be a great deal more charitable over issues that are a great deal less important. 